In the quiet moments of self-reflection, have you ever sensed that your life is not just a series of random events, but a carefully woven tapestry of experiences designed to awaken your true self? This journey towards self-discovery and empowerment is not for the faint-hearted. It beckons the chosen ones, individuals ready to embark on a path of enlightenment and embrace their authentic selves. But how do you know if you're on the brink of such a transformative experience? Let's explore the signs that indicate your spiritual awakening is not just imminent, but is already unfolding, empowering your true essence. In the vast expanse of our lives, amidst the cacophony of daily routines, responsibilities, and the relentless pursuit of goals, there exists a gentle yet persistent whisper. This whisper, often overlooked in the hustle and bustle of life, is the voice of our intuition. It's a subtle nudge of feeling and knowing without reasoning that guides us towards decisions and paths that deeply resonate with our core. The awakening of this intuitive voice marks the beginning of a spiritual journey, a journey towards understanding and embracing our authentic selves. Intuition, for many, remains an untapped resource, buried under layers of logic, skepticism, and societal expectations. However, for those on the brink of a spiritual awakening, intuition transitions from a faint whisper to a clear and guiding voice. It starts to influence decisions big and small, leading individuals towards experiences and opportunities that align with their deepest values and truths. This shift is profound, as it represents a turning away from external validations and towards an internal compass, one that is attuned to the soul's desires and purposes. But how does one recognize the whisper of intuition? It often begins with a sense of restlessness, a feeling that there's more to life than what meets the eye. You might find yourself questioning long-held beliefs, re-evaluating your life's direction, or experiencing coincidences that seem too synchronistic to ignore. These are not random occurrences, but signposts, pointing towards the need to listen more deeply to your inner voice. Cultivating a relationship with your intuition requires practice, patience, and most importantly, trust. It involves creating moments of silence and stillness in your daily life to connect with your inner self. Meditation, journaling, and spending time in nature are practices that can help quiet the mind and amplify the voice of intuition. As you engage in these practices, you'll notice an increase in intuitive insights, dreams that carry messages, or a heightened sensitivity to your environment and the energy of those around you. Listening to and acting upon your intuition can be both exhilarating and challenging. It may lead you down paths that defy logic or societal norms, prompting fear and uncertainty. Yet, it is precisely in these moments that the power of intuition shines brightest, offering reassurance and guidance. By following your intuition, you're not only honoring your truth, but also opening yourself up to a life that is rich with purpose and meaning. The true essence of embracing your intuition lies in the understanding that you are part of a larger, interconnected universe. Your intuition is not just a personal guide, but a cosmic one, connecting you to the wisdom of the universe and the collective consciousness. It's a reminder that you're not alone on your journey, that the universe is conspiring in your favor, guiding you towards your highest potential. As the whisper of intuition grows louder and more insistent, it becomes an integral part of your decision-making process. It empowers you to make choices that are in alignment with your authentic self, leading to a life that is not only fulfilling but also deeply connected to the universal tapestry of existence. This is the power of intuition. It's not just about making right decisions, but about making decisions that are right for you, guiding you towards your true path and empowering you to live your most authentic life. Solitude, often cloaked in the guise of loneliness or isolation by society's narratives, holds within it an unparalleled power for transformation and self-discovery. For those on the cusp of a spiritual awakening, solitude is not merely a state to be endured, but a sacred space to be cherished. It is within the embrace of solitude that we are afforded the clarity and quiet necessary to delve deep into the essence of our being 
to listen to the whispers of our soul that are too often drowned out by the clamor of the external world. The journey into solitude invites us to step away from the external distractions and noise that fill our days. It challenges us to confront the discomfort that may arise when we are left alone with our thoughts, fears, and dreams. This confrontation is not a battle, but a process of befriending the self, of learning to enjoy one's own company and finding comfort in the quiet. It is in these moments of stillness that we begin to unravel the layers of our identity, shaped by society, culture, and the expectations of others, revealing the core of our authentic self. Solitude serves as a mirror, reflecting back to us not what the world sees, but who we truly are in our essence. It asks us to question, to seek, and to explore the depths of our desires, motivations, and truths. This reflective process is integral to spiritual awakening, as it guides us towards a deeper understanding of our purpose and place in the universe. It allows us to hear the callings of our heart, to align with our passions, and to recognize the unique gifts we have to offer the world. Moreover, embracing solitude fosters a profound connection with the natural world. In the absence of human-made distractions, we become attuned to the rhythms of nature, the cycle of the seasons, the rise and fall of the sun, the moon's phases. This attunement brings with it a sense of harmony and interconnectedness with all life, reinforcing our understanding of ourselves as part of a larger, intricate web of existence. Yet, to derive the full benefits of solitude, one must approach it intentionally. It's not about escaping life, but about engaging with it more profoundly, creating intentional spaces for solitude. Whether it's through daily meditation, solitary walks in nature, or simply sitting in quiet reflection, can be transformative. These practices become sanctuaries for the soul, where insights are gleaned, creativity flourishes, and the voice of intuition becomes clearer. In the modern world, where solitude is often feared and undervalued, choosing to embrace it is a radical act of self-love and empowerment. It signals a commitment to one's growth and an acknowledgement of the need for inner peace and understanding. Solitude, in its essence, is a gift a sacred opportunity to return to our true selves, to replenish our spirits, and to cultivate the inner strength necessary to navigate life's challenges with grace and authenticity. As we allow ourselves to be nurtured by solitude, we emerge not only more in tune with our authentic selves, but also equipped with the resilience, clarity, and wisdom to share our light with the world. In this way, solitude becomes not an end, but a beginning a doorway to a deeper engagement with life, marked by a heightened sense of purpose, connectedness, and joy. In addition to solitude, life in its essence is a mosaic of experiences, each piece colored by our choices, encounters, and the lessons we glean from them. Within this mosaic, the spiritual journey stands out as a profound process of discovery, where challenges and setbacks are not mere obstacles but crucial threads woven into the fabric of our existence. This process of unraveling the tapestry of life is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for growth and transformation that lies within each of us. When embarking on the path of spiritual awakening, we begin to perceive the intricate patterns of our life's tapestry in a new light. The trials we face, once seen as hindrances to our happiness, emerge as catalysts for profound personal development. These challenges push us to our limits, forcing us to confront our fears, question our beliefs, and ultimately discover the strength and wisdom that reside within. This transformation is akin to the metamorphosis of a caterpillar into a butterfly, a journey of becoming that is both painful and beautiful in its unfolding. This process of unraveling and understanding the complexities of our life's journey encourages a shift in perspective. We learn to view our experiences not as random occurrences, but as part of a larger divine plan designed to lead us towards self-realization and fulfillment. With this realization comes a sense of peace and acceptance, as we understand that every joy, every sorrow, and every trial has its place and purpose in our growth. 
Furthermore, this journey of unraveling teaches us the value of presence and mindfulness. As we reflect on the tapestry of our life, we become more attuned to the present moment, recognizing the beauty and lessons contained within it. This mindfulness enriches our experience of life, allowing us to savor each moment and appreciate the journey, not just the destination. The act of unraveling our life's tapestry also fosters a deeper sense of connection to ourselves, to others, and to the world around us. As we dissect our experiences and understand their impact on our growth, we begin to see the interconnectedness of all things. We recognize ourselves in the stories of others and in doing so, cultivate empathy, compassion, and a profound sense of kinship with the human experience. In embracing the complexity of our journey, we also learn the art of resilience. The process of spiritual awakening is not linear. It is fraught with setbacks and challenges that test our resolve. Yet, it is through these trials that we build resilience, learning to rise time and again, fortified by the lessons of our past. This resilience becomes a cornerstone of our character, a source of strength that empowers us to face life with courage and grace. Unraveling the tapestry of our life is an ongoing process, a journey that requires patience, courage, and an open heart. It invites us to delve into the depths of our being, to explore the shadows and the light, and to emerge with a deeper understanding of our purpose and potential. As we continue to weave the threads of our experiences, we contribute to the creation of a tapestry that is uniquely ours, a beautiful, intricate expression of our journey toward awakening and authenticity. Embarking on a spiritual awakening is akin to donning a new pair of glasses. Suddenly, the world appears in sharper focus, colors more vibrant and connections more profound. This shift in perception is a hallmark of the journey towards one's authentic self, altering not just how we see the world, but how we engage with it on every level. This transformative shift begins within the realms of our internal landscape. Our values, beliefs, and the very essence of what we hold to be true undergo a seismic change, challenging us to question and reassess the foundations upon which we've built our understanding of life. It's a deeply personal revolution, one that reshapes our inner world and by extension, alters our interaction with the external world. As our perceptions shift, so too does our relationship with the universe and its inhabitants. We start to see the threads of connectivity that bind us all, recognizing that each person's story is a chapter in the larger narrative of humanity. This recognition breeds a profound sense of empathy and compassion. We no longer view others through the lens of judgment or division, but as fellow travelers on the journey of life, each with their own battles, dreams, and aspirations. Moreover, this shift in perception unveils the beauty in life's simplest moments. The mundane becomes magical, imbued with a sense of wonder and gratitude. A sunrise, the sound of rain, the laughter of a child. Each of these everyday occurrences takes on new significance, reminding us of the miracle of existence and our fortunate role within it. This new way of seeing the world also brings with it a greater appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things. We begin to understand that our actions ripple outwards, impacting the world and its inhabitants in ways both seen and unseen. This awareness fosters a sense of responsibility and stewardship, compelling us to act with kindness, integrity, and respect for the delicate balance of life. The shift in perception that accompanies a spiritual awakening also opens our eyes to the possibilities that lie within us. We recognize our potential to create, influence, and transform not just our own lives, but the world at large. This realization is both empowering and humbling, driving us to pursue our passions and contribute our unique gifts to the tapestry of existence. Navigating the world with this newfound perspective is not without its challenges, it requires us to let go of long-held beliefs and to embrace uncertainty with courage and faith. Yet, it is precisely in facing these challenges that we grow, 
learning to navigate life's complexities with grace, wisdom, and an unwavering commitment to our authentic selves. In the grand tapestry of personal transformation, the act of releasing what no longer serves our highest good emerges as a pivotal yet challenging endeavor. This process is akin to pruning a garden. Just as we remove weeds and dead branches to allow for new growth, so too must we clear away the beliefs, relationships, and habits that stifle our spiritual blossoming. The journey towards our authentic selves necessitates this shedding, making space for the new and vibrant aspects of our being to surface and thrive. Letting go is at its core an exercise in trust and courage. It demands faith in the unknown and the unseen, and the bravery to step away from the familiar comfort of the old. This relinquishment is not a rejection of our past, but an acknowledgement that we are no longer the same individuals who once found solace or identity in these elements. It is a recognition of our evolution and a commitment to honoring our present and future selves. The facets of our lives that require release can vary widely, from toxic relationships that drain our energy to outdated self-perceptions that limit our growth. Even success, as traditionally defined, can become a cage if it prevents us from pursuing paths that align more closely with our soul's calling. The realization that something no longer serves us often comes with discomfort, a sign that our inner selves are out of harmony with our external circumstances. Listening to these signals is the first step in the process of letting go. Embracing the void left by what we've released can be daunting. The human psyche is wired to seek stability and continuity, making the emptiness that follows a purge a fertile ground for fear and uncertainty. However, it is within this space that potential unfolds. Nature abhors a vacuum, and the gaps we create through our letting go are quickly filled with new opportunities, relationships, and insights that resonate with our current vibrational frequency. This is the magic of release. It not only liberates us from the weight of the non-serving, but also invites the new and nourishing into our lives. The act of letting go is deeply personal and can't be rushed. It involves introspection, acknowledgement of pain and loss, and ultimately, a profound act of self-love. The decision to release is often followed by a period of mourning, a necessary process through which we honor our past experiences and their contributions to our journey. Through this grief, we cleanse our emotional palate, preparing ourselves to welcome the new chapters of our lives with open arms and a clear heart. Cultivating a practice of letting go is essential on the path to authenticity. It may involve rituals that symbolize release, such as writing letters to our former selves or creating ceremonies that mark the end of a particular life chapter. Such practices help solidify our intention to move forward and reinforce our commitment to growth. In essence, letting go of what no longer serves us is a testament to our strength and resilience. It reflects a deep understanding that true fulfillment arises not from clinging to the past, but from embracing the evolution of our being. This process, though fraught with challenges, paves the way for a life lived in alignment with our truest selves, enriched by experiences and connections that reflect our highest potential. The journey towards spiritual awakening and authentic living is an invitation to all who seek a life of depth, purpose, and connection. It calls us to cast aside the shackles of conformity, to question the status quo and to dare to live in accordance with our deepest truths. This path, though fraught with uncertainty, is rich with the potential for transformation, offering us the chance to live fully, passionately, and authentically. In closing, let us remember that the quest for spiritual awakening and the embrace of our authentic selves is not a solitary journey, but a collective voyage. We are all travelers on this path, seeking, discovering, and sharing the light we uncover within ourselves. By supporting one another in this journey, we create a tapestry of human experience that is vibrant, diverse, and beautiful. Let this journey be a reminder that within each of us lies the potential for greatness, not as defined by the world, but as defined by the truth of our own being. 
May we have the courage to pursue this path, the strength to overcome the obstacles and the wisdom to recognize the beauty in every step of the journey. Together, let us embark on this odyssey, not just in search of ourselves, but in the creation of a world where every individual is empowered to live authentically, vibrantly and purposefully.